Dragons get me. Where's Prince Adam? Well, I'm sure he'll be here in a moment. He's been very busy with government problems. I wouldn't call Lady Amanda a government problem. Hush, child. Cringer, come on, we're gonna be late. No. You go on ahead, Adam, or I'm just much too tired. Oh, too tired for a royal fish fry? No. Fish fry? Oh no. Why must that son of mine always be late? Now, now, dear, I'm sure he'll be here any- <laughs> Your Majesty. The Prince. Cringer, are you alright? Adam. Fa Father, I'm sorry. Spare me the story, just yes, take your place. Mm, yes, sir. A fabulous entrance, Adam. Now that we're all here, let's begin. Ambassador Farron from the Kingdom of Eastfen, with a gift for his majesty. What happened to Ambassador Vorn? Well, I don't know. But there is something quite familiar about this Theron. Something I can't quite put my finger on. Your Majesty, the loyal subjects of Eastfen wish you to have this humble gift made by the finest craftsmen in our life. Why? It's magnificent. And, and would your Majesty care to examine it a bit closer? By all means, bring it here! That sword! Skeletor! Your Majesty, don't! Skeletor! Come on, cat, let's find ourselves a quiet spot. That crystal was meant for you, Vanya! I have to find another way to claim the throne of Eternia! <laughs> you villain! Ranger, stop! Well, I will as soon as I'm far enough away. By the power of Grayskull! Let her go, Bonehead. Nice move. I'm not bold enough to fight you here, here, man. But I'll leave you that pretty statue to remember me by. <laughs> he got away. He got away. We'll get him, Tila. But first, we've got to find a way to reverse the spell on your father. The sorceress! She must know a way! My thoughts exactly, your majesty.